Welcome back folks, this is Vortex Mike with a uh, unboxing video. Uh, right in front of you, I just picked this up today. Um, I was talking in my last video that I picked up a Hobbit set, although it's not a big one, or it doesn't have a lot of miniatures in it, but still it's part of the Hobbit game. Um, it's the uh, Hobbit paint set. As you see, you get some paints in there, and you get five goblins. So you get five more goblins, so I was like, yeah. It's kind of steep. Uh, I picked it up for that price, 40 bones. It's not bad. Uh, the main reason why I got it is because I collect a lot of the paints, the older paints, and I don't have a lot of the newer because uh, Citadel Paints came out with a new scheme, a bunch of new paints, like over 20 new paints in their collection, and a lot of these I don't have. Actually, the only one I have is Lead Belcher, and I have Boca Metal, which is an older version of it. So, it'll be nice. And I also need a paintbrush, so I went to the hobby store here where I live. And I was like, well, I looked at it. It's pretty cool. So, we're going to unbox it really quick. This will be a quick one. Um, I don't plan on showing you what the goblins look like, because you already see my videos. I'll probably just black them black uh, primer room or white primer room right. okay so on the box you get five gallons Actually, pretty cool looking goblins. They didn't just give you the, they give you some crazy looking ones. I like that guy. Actually, probably the favorite of mine is this guy with the, the axe in his hand. He's pretty cool. Look at that thing on his back. Uh, it gives you five bases. Gives you a starter brush, which you can't see because I was pointing at myself. Which well, is not bad. Starter brush. Probably detail size, a little bit bigger. I'll use it. Dry brush or something. And the paints you get into it. You get uh, lead belter. You get uh, Sterling Mud. You get Pallid Winch Flesh. Hopefully I said it right. I think I did. This is uh, Storm Vermin Fur. Rakath Flesh. And some of these uh, paints you actually need for the dwarves if you follow the Warhammer uh, White Dwarf Guide. So it's nice to get them. That one was kind of stuck in there. I thought the cap was going to come off. That's uh, Steel Legion Drab. And you get two washers, which is nice. Washers are uh, four bucks where I get my paints at, so they're kind of expensive. Charge more for the washers, which. That's. Uh, Carl Berg, Carl Berg, Crimson. Just last one out. And that is Seraphim Sephia. Another wasp. 
So you get uh, two washes and six paints. So not bad. It's actually a pretty good value. So you get two guys. This and then you get this little guide. And it's a painting guide, which is nice. Much like the other ones. Tells you how to assemble the guys. Then it goes into uh, steps. So it's pretty cool. Besides uh, painting, this actually goes for all of them, so they're not much different, even the goblin thing. So definitely worth uh, getting that. Um, got my new paints for my goblins. So we'll start uh, painting those. And we'll assemble those uh, five gowns and paint them really quick with the guys. And we'll give you some updates. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm going to continue to paint, give you guys uh, updates on my painting. Uh, and then we're going to go through the battle scenarios and actually do some battles now. The Hobbit book, rule book, didn't come with any of the points for the guys. And what I heard on forums on the internet is the big one didn't have points, but it's got every single freaking point, or not point value, but uh, bio for all the other Lord of the Rings miniatures and all point value. So that's a little, I can't like just put the Goblin King with a bunch of armies, so that kind of sucks. But we're going to just do skirmishes. I'm just going to kind of guesstimate what their points value are because I'm sure they're pretty even with all the dwarves kind of like the uh, fellowship was in the Mines of Moria it was pretty even if you just did straight across no special stuff no uh, you know and drool the flame of the west for Aragorn that one cloaks this and that but um, yeah I do plan to do some scenarios I do have Mines of Moria I'm thinking about doing it with the Hobbit uh, rules like the new uh, channeling channeling magic is a little different um, definitely the different uh, hero actions you can do a lot more variety so I'm thinking about even adding the uh, cave troll that came in the package because now he's got some pretty cool maneuvers might go through that scenario after I do the hobbit just kinda keep you guys uh, entertained until I get some more um, leader miniatures. I got a lot of infantry and a lot of cav for some of my guys, but I just don't have a lot of leaders. So I'm thinking about picking up some leaders and doing some actual skirmish battles of what I have. Probably not more than 300 points, maybe 400 points at the max. Well, I probably could do some five to 600 between uh, Mordor and Gondor, I'm actually planning to do some ally battles with like Rohan and Gondor or dwarves because I do have some dwarves uh, miniatures. Uh, I do have more. I'm going to do some videos of my collection of uh, Lord of the Rings miniatures. Just decide right now to kind of show you what my what I'm working with. Maybe you have some suggestions for me and a good route to take. But uh, yeah, this. Uh, Pretty good set overall. Got a lot of paints. Got some guys. Got a paint guy now, so that's nice. It's a little different scheme. I noticed looking through it, it's a little bit different scheme than the one in Warhammer and the White Dwarf, which is fine. I don't think it's going to be a problem at all because they look, they're going to look a little different, but overall, it doesn't tell. Uh, bother me so all right i uh, see you in the next video which will be our scenario battles and we'll do those tomorrow i'll probably upload hopefully i have time to upload some of these today if not well it'll be tomorrow will be the day you're watching this yeah pretty much it's late here so i'll probably upload the first video i did in my update if i have time if not, I'll just update it all on one uh, day. So, alright, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.